So a really different kind of video today and if nothing else I just almost want to kind of get some stuff off my chest a little bit uh, But it also should hopefully help you especially if you've really struggled with the mental side of things And uh, I just wanted to kind of sit down. I don't care about what's in the background, you know, just you know Take it for what it's worth here But the thing that I've really been kind of thinking about is like when I got started coaching like eight years ago Which man, it's hard to believe it's been eight years now it's kind of crazy, but I never really could have imagined that I would spend so much of my time trying to convince people to not go into fat loss phases, to not try to change their body, to be okay with the way things are right now, not put so much pressure on body and stuff like that. Because I came from a completely different place. Uh, it just kind of goes to show like how little I knew when I started about kind of like society's pressures and where the majority of people were with the mental side of, of a fitness lifestyle and stuff. And it's like, for me, when I decided to change, I went at it from a much different thought process than most people do, which, man, I'm, uh, thank God I did. I didn't know any better. I was just lucky. But for me, it was kind of like, yeah, I didn't like the way things were going and I wanted to make a change. So I just said, okay, like, I'm just going to start changing. I'm going to start, you know, cleaning up what I eat. I'm going to start lifting consistently. And I just figured, okay, if I do this, my body should change over time. But I didn't have any pressures and like, okay, it has to be as fast as possible. I should get this result by this time frame. Especially when it came to the big changes, I had no clue how long it was going to take, nor did I create any expectations of how long it was going to take. I just was like, I just want to make changes. So for me, when I started to see changes, I got super excited. It didn't matter. In reality, when I kind of look back, it probably was kind of slow, honestly, but I didn't care. I just want to see change. And I think this is something that kills so many people. Perhaps it's you, but I think if I had gone in with all these expectations of what I should get, I think it would have been a lot different instead of really falling in love with the process and starting to love working out and really enjoying how my body was changing i probably would have gotten pretty down about how things were going honestly like if you took a year into my workouts which i saw some really nice changes by then so don't feel like i had i didn't see any changes but if you were to take that one year and then compare to now like almost 14 years later if you were to tell me at that point with another 14 years of work, these are the changes that I would make, I probably would have been like, not worth the effort. I mean, we think about like, okay, 14 years worth of hard work, like I'm gonna be Arnold basically, right? Well, it just doesn't generally work that way, but it doesn't make it not worth the effort. It's been well worth the effort. There's just such a big difference between just enjoying the process, enjoying what you get, not putting any pressure on it, rather than constantly like stressing out about how long it's gonna take. But with all that being said, I've really just kind of been struggling here for quite a long time. I don't even know how long now, but it's I've just been in kind of a funk with things and just haven't been very excited about any kind of like fitness goals or, or the lifestyle. My workouts have been poor, like I'm continuing to show up, which is why I continue to you know keep myself in pretty good shape, but they haven't been enjoyable. I'm just kind of going through the motions. So I'm not really having much fun in there. And I think I've kind of come to the realization that I've let other people's poor relationship with the process and their bodies and the way that the majority of people go about things really kind of get to me almost to the point where I almost feel like I shouldn't enjoy having a better body. Like I shouldn't I shouldn't want to see improvements there. I should almost not care about how I look, right? And, and this is not to say that anybody else has done anything wrong. And I certainly don't want, especially if you're a client of mine and you've been struggling with things, I don't want you to not tell me your struggles. I need you to tell me your struggles because it's how I'm going to help you. This isn't your thing. This is my thing. And it's something that I'm trying to work through. But for some reason, I've almost felt like, well, now I just shouldn't care at all. And I shouldn't almost feel any pride for you know accomplishing things or anything like that, which is really kind of crazy if you think about it but it's just something that's been kind of weighing on me a little bit. And I just kind of forgot like how much I used to love the process, how I used to love making changes and, and working out and, and enjoying you know physical progress and things like that. And not as like, I should only be happy if I look a certain way, like not at all. And if there's a positive of this, I have become comfortable even when I get into a spot where I, I don't necessarily love the amount of body fat I have, I'm okay with it because I don't want to do a lot of dieting and I want to keep myself in a good spot. And it's definitely a positive that I really honestly don't care what anyone thinks of how I look anymore. Like I really don't. And while that's a good thing, 
it's also like it takes away some of that drive right like uh now it's like well why work so hard like i don't care what anybody thinks so i might as well just kind of do whatever and obviously i don't want to do that health still matters i want to take care of myself and i do like the way i feel i do feel more confident when i'm in a good place i really wasn't going to talk about this i have been in a diet for a handful of weeks here uh, i try to go every year or two and just do quick cuts and this is kind of how i do my maintenance phases i'm going to talk more about that in a future video when i'm done with this cut so i don't want to get into that in this video but it helps me kind of get some of that excitement to see physical changes again and i'm getting down to some pretty lean levels which is exciting but i became a coach because i wanted people to experience this great high that i felt i wanted the people to know what it felt like to change your body but man while there's certainly some of that it's almost like the majority of people who try to change their life becomes worse because of it like significantly worse and it's not because changing your body can't help it's because of how you go into things mentally it's what's going on up here and it's because you're like panicked all the time you're desperate to make changes it has to happen right away you're so miserable where you are and you don't feel like you should love yourself as you are and you don't deserve to be happy unless you're able to change yourself and it's just this constant fear panic desperation and it's a miserable place to be you've heard me say before there is no happy ending to an unhappy journey and this is very much part of it how could you possibly get to a good place if you're miserable throughout the whole process and when you do this it's like nothing's ever good enough you're not happy because you're not where you want to be yet you haven't gotten to this mystical place that you think is going to be the place that makes you happy and you're just constantly picking yourself apart and other people are getting better results and your relationship with food is terrible it's just everything it's a lot it's too much you have to let that stuff go so even though i'm constantly sending you messages about like it's not your body that's going to make the difference and that like it's not what makes you who you are as a person that you shouldn't judge yourself based on these things and all these things are very much true but going about changing your body from the right frame of mind can not only be a game changer but it can change your life dramatically in, in ways that i can't even possibly explain to you but you have to start going about things differently so i guess and i'm not really wrapping things up yet but the message I'm really trying to relay home today is that like there's just so many positive things that can come from this like I have, I have kind of forgotten that I have and I really need to work better at that because there's just so many great things about this and again this isn't your fault or anybody else's this is my thing but I have this old saying I used to say a lot and I haven't really said much uh, if at all in a very long time and I used to say if you don't let the weights beat you you won't let life beat you and what I'm saying by that is like the gym teaches you so many valuable life lessons and not the least of those is when you're struggling to reach some kind of performance based goal in the gym like if you're trying to lift a certain weight or whatever but you can't get there and it's a struggle and you keep failing at it and it's just beating you down but you keep going you keep trying to hit these goals and then you eventually make it man that just positively changes you so much and it teaches you the value of perseverance about not giving up when things get hard and these things that happen to you as you change your body that is great but it also helps change you from the inside out much more than anything happens on the outside everything changes you become more confident you start to grow as a person you get better at almost everything you do everything in your life everything starts to click better and these values you learn from learning to not give up that's what matters more than anything it's not the physical result it's that things got hard and you felt like giving up everything in you was saying give up this is too hard it's not worth it but you keep going going that's how you get where you want to be and that changes you to your core it's why i am where i am right now and i'm not saying i'm like the greatest person ever or anything like that but hey like i've made some pretty big changes uh, me and my family i should say that not a lot of people will do and the only reason i'm telling you the only reason i'm here right now the only reason me and my family picked up our entire lives and moved in my mid-30s to go all the way across the country to the place where we wanted to live in the nice weather in florida and i gave up my career of 50 15 years and started fresh and created my own business to do this it all happened because of the lifestyle changes i made and the confidence that gave me through going through that process it's not just lifting weights so many people will be like oh come on bro it's just lifting weights it's not that important it's not that serious i'm like it is not because of the weight you lift not because of the the muscles that you grow hell no it's because of what happens in here this stuff is so powerful so powerful
I'm, I, I, I'm getting my passion back. You can probably hear it in my voice. I have lost this and I need to get it back. And it's, it's starting with this video. And this video is so much for me, even probably more so than you. I hope you're getting some value out of it. But I just wanted to get this off my chest and talk about things because so many people just don't get it. Just stop rushing the process all the time. Stop freaking out when things don't go the way you want them to. Too. It's good. It's good that it's not going well because it's hard. And hard is what changes you. Nothing in life worth having comes easy. Nothing. The harder it is, the longer it takes, the more rewarding it is. The better it feels when you finally accomplish it. All this stuff that I've accomplished here took forever. It took years. I made jack squat for years. But just kept going, kept going, kept going. And once it eventually clicked and everything finally started to roll together and we were able to buy our house and it was just like this amazing thing. That's what it's all about. Not getting everything right away. It's not instant gratification. It doesn't do anything for you. You don't change positively from that stuff. Name one thing in your life that you got that came easy and you were proud of it and that really positively changed your life. Now I'm getting ahead of myself. I have a video plan to talk about this more in the future. So I'm gonna stop with the easy side of things and that will be coming. It's an important lesson, but just remember all this as you move forward. I really want you to get away from trying to rush things all the time and losing patience. It's making you miserable. It really is. It's not that you're not getting results that's making you miserable. It's the value you're giving to it. It's the way you put so much pressure on it. It's the expectations you create. You choose to create these expectations. And then when it doesn't come to fruition, it gets you down. Happiness truly is the difference between expectations and what you get. All right? And if you expect the world and it doesn't go well, you're going to get down. If you expect nothing, but it goes even okay, now you're happy with what's happening because you're seeing a result. That's what matters. It's not about how fast. It's a lifestyle. There's so many positive things that come from changing your body, but you have to change the way you go about it mentally. I hope this video helped. It helped me. Like I got some stuff on my chest and uh, much different video. And um, if you found value, then, you know, let me know in the comments. And, uh, you know, I wish you all the best. I'm here. If you need help, uh, you know, reach out. I'd be happy to help coach you. And, uh, you know, let's do this thing together. I'm coming from a completely different mindset now. I feel so much better now. Always remember that. Like, whenever you're struggling, talking about it is the best thing you can do to get over that struggle. Like, it's like getting the poison out. Gary Vee says that. Get, it, get that poison out. Don't hold it to yourself. Don't try to get through it yourself. It's one of the biggest values of having a coach. Because now you have somebody who can support you and is in your corner. So wasn't really a plug for coaching, but hey, might as well do it, right? So uh, anyways, I've rambled on long enough. Hope this helped. And I hope you have a good rest of your week.